after your home, your vehicle is probably the most expensive thing that you own. Now, what if you discover somebody had stolen your car, but it was still in your driveway? KPRC2 investigates Amy Davis has discovered a flaw in the state's titling system that's allowing thieves to steal cars and hide them in plain sight on our roadways. Hit and runs. Right now, they're still searching for that shooter. Criminal activity and toll violators. Just a few reasons it's important to track vehicles. Your vehicle identification number is like a social security number unique to your car. But just like your social, thieves are using VINs to steal your vehicle's identity. I was completely floored. Floored because when Kenneth Davis tried to trade in his 2015 BMW for his next vehicle. They're like, you know, well, the title um, that you have has your name on it. But however, when we pull into go and look into the system, the car is actually registered to someone else. That's right. Kenneth couldn't sell his car because on paper, it didn't belong to him. It was registered to an address in this spring subdivision. And when Houston police auto theft investigators drove here, they found another BMW. This is the best picture we could find, but it is the same make model and color as Kenneth's with license plates tied to Kenneth's VIN. The car was a clone. You would know. You would know. I would probably walk to the wrong car thinking it was my car because they're identical. About 100% of the time that car is actually a stolen car. They That's Sergeant Tracy Hicks with the Houston Police Auto Theft Task Force and he confirmed this BMW clone of Kenneth's car was stolen from the Sharpstown area repair shop. Even crooks know they're on borrowed time driving around in a stolen vehicle. But if they get a license plate that goes back to a car with no record, they can drive the stolen car unnoticed. Heck, they could even sell it. If there was any legal ramifications, if they got in an accident or whatever, it would come back to me. It is concerning, it is surprising, and it is, I would say, dangerous as well. Joel Oveta owns a title bonding business. He understands the fraud and says he sees it daily. I will say maybe every day, maybe one to three cars every day. One to three cars every day where drivers come into his office trying to get a bonded title for stolen vehicles. Car owners can legitimately apply for a bonded title when they've lost the original. Most of the stories we hear are, you know, my grandfather gave me this old car. He can't find the title. When that happens, state law requires that law enforcement officers verify the VIN. HPD does it here every Monday morning. Undercover officers check out each vehicle. We personally inspect that car for the VIN number, verify that that VIN belongs on that car, and then sign the paperwork. Applicants take this document back to the DMV to apply for the bonded title. But we discovered state law doesn't require the sort of VIN inspection for every car. A DMV spokesperson told us by email in Kenneth's case, there was a record for this vehicle, so the applicant was not required to have the vehicle inspected by law enforcement. Check it out. The bonded title application asks the applicant, are you in legal possession of the vehicle? Are you in legal control of the vehicle? The person using Kenneth's VIN to get a bonded title checked yes. Clearly not true. They could be telling the truth. They could be lying. So who's going out to the parking lot to make sure that the person applying for the bond has that vehicle? No one. Those um, VIN numbers can be transferred to almost any title at any on any car and the owner of the actual car may not even know that they're being duplicated. The DMV couldn't tell us how many bonded titles it's issued without law enforcement inspecting the vehicles. What normally happens is both of those people who have that that number get a letter saying, hey, your title and less license plates are both invalid. You both need to go to your local DMV. The process should have stopped. But Kenneth says he was never notified and the DMV couldn't tell us who, if anyone, it notified of the double titles on the same vehicle. If you make a mistake, own up to it and fix it. And don't put the citizens through this kind of stuff when it's not their fault. It took about three months, but Kenneth finally got the mess straightened out. The stolen clone vehicle was confiscated, but get this, there's another victim in this. The thief sold the clone car on offer up to a woman who didn't know it was stolen. She is now out the money she paid for that car. Police say the best way to prevent this from happening is to require a vehicle inspection for every single vehicle that needs a new title. I'm Amy Davis, KPRC 2 News.